Ow, they are. Oh, my poor tummy! How hungry I am! Someone wants to eat? This is a job just for me. Is my granddaughter hungry? Okay, I'll fix it quickly. I think my sister is calling for help. I have to do it. I'm already running. Thank you for coming so quickly. I'm really hungry. Let's have a culinary challenge right now. It's going to be a lot of fun. I suggest starting with a simple one. Prepare a delicious pasta for me. Easy. It'll be done. I can cook pasta. But I can't. But never mind, I'll think of something. It seems to be done quite simply. All you need to do is pull the spaghetti in boiling water. Only they're too long for this pot. We need to shove them deeper. The easiest way to do this, of course, is with your hands. Ah! How hot! My poor hands! Who does that? You just need to spread the spaghetti around the perimeter of the pen. They will cook and gradually fall into the water themselves. It's very simple. Awesome. Spaghetti! Oh, what on. kind of store-bought stuff is this anyway? Oh no! The best spaghetti what? is spaghetti made with your own hands. In my restaurant, I serve only such pasta. Yeah! In fact, there is nothing complicated about it. The main thing is to love your job. Trick cooking spaghetti with a soul. So I'm going to do everything from the beginning to the end on my own. Let's make some dough. And then cook some spaghetti from it. Okay. And to make it an unusual black color, I'll add a little food coloring. The dough is ready. Now we need to be properly made. Like that. Let's time it. Oh, it's too okay. long. What? In fact, oh. everything can be done much easier. What? Is that all? See, it's not long at all. But from such a deal, we'll have unrealistically delicious spaghetti. So, you need to roll out the dough thoroughly. Let's do it. And then, cut it into thin strips with a special knife. See? Now you can throw it in a saucepan. Ta-da! Okay. A couple of minutes and the best spaghetti in your life is ready. It's time to fry the octopuses. They will add sophistication to the pasta. It looks very expensive. Awesome. Granny, what are you doing? Ketchup is disgusting. I like it. Oh no! What's going on here? Tom, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the noodles out of the pot! And it doesn't want to fall into the plate in any way! Don't worry, you just overdid the spaghetti a little. Okay. And what do I do now? Right! I'm done with spaghetti! There's a way to make pasta much faster and tastier! To do this, you need a box of Korean Pororo noodles. It's not just delicious, but also so bright! Oh, what a mess. Oh, man. You're just jealous of me. But Kay will definitely awesome. choose my pasta. Ooh, come on! Well, well. I think I'll start with these black spaghetti. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's what? see. Oh, how oh. disgusting! Who eats this at all? The okay. portion from the center looks much more ordinary. Spaghetti with ketchup, of course, I love, but. Um, it's too easy. Although it's pretty delicious. Okay. And now it's time for Pororo noodles. Let's see what it tastes like. The main thing is so bright. Wait, why is it so spicy? What a horror! But it was so cool! I love spicy! So, Tom, congratulations on your victory! This time, make me delicious cacao! What are you waiting for? It's time to start! 
It will be done. I think I can handle it. Everything will be okay. perfect. Of course, you need to start with milk. It needs to be poured into a saucepan so that it gradually warms up. You need to pour cacao into it next and stir it all slowly. I'll resort to the secret ingredient and add some chocolate to the cacao. Then it will become much more delicious. That is my secret. Well, is it time to pour a drink into a mug? It is best to do this with a ladle. That way you definitely won't spill anything past the mug. Mm, how lovely. Also, it smells incredibly delicious. Yeah, it stinks all over the room. Grandma, your recipe is certainly not the worst, but why did you stop so early? What about the cream? Cream, by the way, will be much tastier if you whip it yourself. Let's do it. So, I pour it into a bowl. And I'm gonna mix it. Perfect. Let's move on. Come on! I'll decorate your cow with the resulting cream. But that's not all. It will look even more appetizing okay. if I put some marshmallows on top of the cream. Let's do it. Oh, it's perfect now. Why suffer so much? You can just use whipped cream. But I also like the idea of marshmallows. So I'll decorate cacao with marshmallows. But this is not the end. Why not add Oreo cookies? They're so nice. Okay. And they look perfect there. Or, for example, M&M candies. Or even better, add everything. And of course, do not forget about the chocolate syrup. That's what I like. Kay will definitely be thrilled. Oh. Let's see! Come on! Tom, your cacao looks really cool. I think I'll start with it. Really? It's just unrealistically delicious. I hope the next candidates will be not worse. Next, I'll try cacao for my beloved grandmother. Grandma, I'm sorry, but Tom turned out better. The last candidate left. Mm, I really like this cacao too, but which one should I choose? I think I like Tom's version a lot. Now, I want you to make me chips. I hope you can do it. Chips? It'll be done. We'll see who is the winner. How are chips made in general? I'm just used to eating them, not cooking them. Tom, you need to peel the potatoes first. This is done very simply with the help of a special device. Now, each potato needs to be cut into thin slices so that it looks like real chips. Look how perfect they are. I'll do the rest of the potatoes now. And now you can fry them. The main okay. thing is not to spare the oil. Then the chips will turn out more crispy. I got everything! Now I'll make my better chips! Kate has never tried anything like this before! It turns out that potatoes can be peeled with an ordinary knife! How cool! Tom, what are you doing? Stop littering! Uh, I think I went a little overboard. But I cleaned out everything! Well, now my favorite part. Potatoes need to be cut into thin slices. I also remember it's important not to spare the oil. In my opinion, there's quite a lot of it in my frying pan. It's time to dump the potatoes there. Tom, there's even too much oil. Therefore, it splashes in different directions. Yeah, you don't know how to cook chips. But I'll make real nachos for Kate. 
To do this, take a corn tortilla and cut it into identical triangles. <laughs> then you need to pour a little oil into a frying pan and spread these triangles on it. They will fry and turn into real nachos. Perfect. You can pull them out. They turn out just yeah. amazing. Now the nachos need to be spread out beautifully on a plate. As a sauce, we can use some cheese. So nachos will be even better. And it'll also be cool to add a little lime. Let's cut it. I've got it! How nice and beautiful it turned out! Perfect. I hope Kate likes it. Wait, where did the smell of burn coming from? Tom, what have you done? Oh, I just took my mind off chips for a second. Oh, now I have to give Kate this overcooked ambers. Oh, don't be upset. Maybe okay. she'll like it. I know what can help me. If you sprinkle some cheese seasoning on the chips, Kate won't even know that I overcooked them a little. Perfect. <laughs> I did it. I don't know about that. Come on! Well, well, everything looks very cool. Tom, according to tradition, I'll start with your dish. Ugh, disgusting! It's like I'm eating charcoal with cheese powder. Horrible. I wonder what the chef has prepared. To be honest, I've never tried real nachos before. Um, apparently I'm not a fan. I don't really like them. Grandma, there's only one version left to try. Grandma, I'm loving it! You win this round! Perfect! Subscribe to Haha Nom so as not to miss the same delicious, funny, and even useful challenges! See you soon, guys!